This is Saul, and this is the next tutorial for OpenVMS. This is OpenVMS 7.3 uh, on a SimH emulator um, that emulates a VAX machine. Right now, we're going to reset the system password. Sometimes you can lose it or forget it if you're on vacation for a long time. So uh, we're going to go through resetting the password real quick. So basically right here we are uh, at the triple caret prompt. And it's just like if you were at the console. Um, so we can go ahead and we want to boot into a mode that will let us reset the password. So the command for that would have b forward slash r5 colon 1. And what that's going to do is going to give us another prompt after it goes to a series of things right here. Now we're in sysboot. And now that we're in sysboot, we go ahead and enter th this command here. Set forward slash startup space OPA0 colon then set window underscore system zero set write sys params zero whoops zero whoops did I type it wrong I probably did set write sys Params. Let's try it again. Set R I T E sys set right sys A M S zero. Okay. Maybe didn't like my backspace there. Anyway, so uh, now we're gonna do continue. And it's going to continue the boot process. Now the next thing we enter here is very important. Um, what it's going to do is going to, instead of booting to a, a prompt where you can log in, which you wouldn't be able to do if you didn't have the password, which is why you're resetting it, it'll keep you in uh, a command line. So you can still go ahead and use the commands you need to reset your password. So now we're at that prompt and we can go ahead and we type in spawn. And now we've done that. Now we go ahead and just continue the startup. So we're going to run that command. It's going to be at sys dollar sign system colon startup. That's basically just going to continue the boot process. And it's going to boot us right into console. Well, command line prompt. So then after that we can go ahead and reset the password. And hopefully, if you're not familiar with VMS, you have your uh, sysuaf.dat file in its normal place. If not, then that's a whole other issue trying to find it. Sh hopefully you haven't moved it around though. So we just wait for it to start up and I'm getting some messages now telling me my licenses are, are expired. And that's because unfortunately the system at openvmshobbyist.org right now does not register license packs at the moment. Um, I've been working with them for the past couple of days trying to get that to work. Every once in a while that, that the process they have that handles that stops working. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're at the uh, command prompt. We can go ahead and do something. So let's go ahead and do set def sys dollar sign system and then I want to run authorize, which is going to put us in the UAF. OK. 
Okay. And the UAF basically is the the program or the, the part of VMS that allows you to manage user accounts. You can view user accounts, you can modify them, change passwords, whatever you want to do. It's kind of like in Linux where you have the, the password command or a user mod. Um, instead of instead of with this, you actually have to go into a whole other console, part of the console, and then you could, then from there you modify the file. Just like just like you have the file with Linux, the uh, uh, Etsy password, Etsy shadow, those things. But then here you have a file called sysuaf.dat. Anyways, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and uh, modify that password. So you want to modify the password. So it's mod. And usually you want to modify the system password. So mod system. This stuff right here also is basically the same. Well, this part so far, once we're at the command prompt, was basically the same for VMS 8.3. So we're at mod system forward slash. Uh, whoops, hold on. Let me cancel that real quick. Let's try this. Okay. We're still in it. Okay. Mod system pass. You don't have to type out the whole word. And then you put in whatever password you want. Um, and then it'll modify the password. After you do that, you'll also have to do uh, mod system. Mod system forward slash. And then uh, this command. No PWDE. The reason why is because after you change a password, if VMS by default will require you to change it as soon as you log in. So instead of having to change it when you log in again, you put this, which is going to be no ex no password expiration, and so you don't log in with the password already expired. So that that's what this is for, no PWDE. And you can actually put no PWDE and then put password here, and then whatever your password is if you wanted to. But that's up to you if you want to do it that way. And then after you finish that, um let's see I don't want to change my password. Uh, da, da, da. Gibberish, that doesn't change anything. Okay, now um exit from there. I'm not very good at typing today. So that's it. And I didn't do any changes, but if you did then they would have taken place. And then now when you do the logout Then you can log in with your new username and password. Anyways, that's the tutorial for changing the system password on OpenVMS uh, 7.3. Um, the latter half of these instructions will work on VMS uh, 8.3 as well. Um, thank you for watching.